Hey everyone and welcome to Previous Century Preservation. My name is Josh and we are here at a uh, Ontario farmstead. Uh, it looks like a subdivision has grown around the property now, but I assume it was once originally the original barn and farm on this property and house. Uh, the owner is gone right now, so I don't have a lot of history on it. He said it was somewhere between 120 and 140 years old, but uh, I think his, his math is right because I passed a few barns with 1876 notched in the top of them on the way here, so I'm thinking that he's right. Anyways, uh, he said we can go for a tour around the house and around the barn. I haven't seen any of it yet. I'm just gonna walk in the driveway here and take you guys on a tour. I hope you enjoy. Beautiful old house. I do apologize for the shaky video. I have a gimbal on the way, but this old barn's being tore down here really soon and I had to get in here and get the video finished. Beautiful old trees here. They gotta be. At least 80 years old, I would think. Love these old driveways that run in. And as you can see, there's a house out the back now. And, but I imagine this would have all been an apple orchard back in the day or something. The house is uh, just in the process of uh, being renovated, he said. So he said, you're welcome to take a picture of the outside of the house. And uh, it really, really is a beautiful old house. You can see that that front part with the old windows was probably the original spot. And then past here, uh, where that line in the brick is, this would have been an addition. Or, honestly, this could have been the original spot and uh, that could have been an addition. It, they both look very old though. You can see a different bit of color in the brick, but it's a, it's a beautiful old house. Got the old lightning rods on it. There's actually one uh, ball, old glass ball up there on that one still on the side of the chimney. Never seen one mounted to the side of a chimney like that before. But uh, yeah, gorgeous house. Had a nice uh, shed put on the back here. Got a nice driveway out to the side here and out the front. I just, I love these old driveways that have the big trees down one side or better yet, both sides, but I mean, you can't be too picky. So I'm assuming that out here originally was all the old farm, but it's all houses now, population grows, stuff disappears. So we're uh, gonna walk through this old barn and check it all out bit of snow here thankfully he's got it blown out so I don't have to trudge through this snow wow old vines growing all over it just abandoned for years I love it foundations caved in in the corner there my uh Grandpa always said once you take the, or I guess he still says, he's still alive. Uh, he always said, once the cattle are out of the barn, it's uh, just a time waiting for it to collapse because, well not collapse, but go because they kept heat in the barn. With all that hay in there was insulation too and manure. It uh, kept the frost from heaving. Just look at that, I imagine that was the original barn and this could have been addition again, but you know what, actually that to the left is an addition because you can see the concrete foundation and this is stone foundation. Beautiful spot. Let's get around the back here. We'll go inside and check it out. 
Got some really nice old lightning rods up there with the balls on them still. I actually uh, talked to the owner because he had an ad up that this was being tore down and I thought, man, that's a beautiful spot. We should get this on record before it gets torn down. Wow, the snow is deep here. Well, let's sneak inside here and check her out. Barn door. Wow. Very nice. Old ladders. Fortunately, it was really sunny until I got here. And uh, just within the last 20 kilometers of driving, it all went away. So it's gonna be a little bit dark in here, but what can you do? We're gonna climb up in here and take a look. Let's see if we can find any barn cats in here. Looks like there's something been crawling around in here. Oh yeah, raccoons maybe, but wow. This old timbers and roof line is just unbelievable. These look like they were put in later maybe, these uh, joists up here, because down here you can see they're all hand-hewn beams. Actually, you know what, a couple of those are too. But these are milled lumber here. You know what, just that one is the rest are, so that is original, it was just this one, and it must have been replaced at some time. Same with this beam right here, and this. I guess this could have all been an addition, but it doesn't look like it. No, that's the original hand-hewn beam there. So maybe it was rotten and was replaced, it's hard to say, but uh, it's in really good shape, it's not leaking at all. I think it's the other part mainly that's bad. I'd love to have a barn like this on my property. Just see the detail in these beams that they put in. It's all pegged together. Oh, they've pretty well come out of there now. Oh, you can still see them there. They, uh, they'd notch everything and drop it down. You can see the notches right there where there probably was a beam at one time going across or a part coming out here. And, uh, they notch it all and that beam slides down into the wood and they uh, peg it to keep it together. Wow. Step down from here. Just these old beams are just amazing. How much time it took somebody to make those is just unbelievable. It would be one guy doing it all by hand. He'd have to find a tree that was straight and then make the beam straight and wow get down here there's a newer door somebody must have fixed it up they got stalls in here for something oh, yeah Yeah, I'd say that these stalls are all fairly new. It's in the last 50 years or something at least. It's coming down pretty good in here. Whole foundation's pretty crumpled. Yeah, she's pretty soft, this floor. Wow. Let's step over here on this board. Massive timbers. They got some bolts in there. Beautiful, beautiful spot. These old ladders are awesome.
Another piece of door right there. That must have been ripped off of over there. Get back in here. This is where the foundation is collapsed below. Still feels fairly solid. <laughs> Wouldn't drive anything in here. Beautiful construction over here again. You can still see the old barn trolley system up in there. It's uh, not in there at all, the barn trolley. Maybe we'll find it sitting around in here. It'd be kind of nice to see. You can see here where the people would have, where he would have been hacking at it by hand, making it, and those marks are still in there. Just gorgeous. Tin's falling in there a little bit, but this barn really isn't too bad, except in this, well, it's all on this side, which is, I guess, the west side, I believe. And uh, we get all the wind and rain and make stuff deteriorate faster. So this is the main part of the old barn. And we're going to, before we go into the old part over here, or the newer part, I should say, we're going to give this thing a bit of a climb and check out up top. Oh, we're missing a couple pegs. here get you guys a better view of this place wow well you know what there is still a trolley up in that corner I, I missed it above my head we'll get that on the way out get a video of it I'm not gonna walk too far into there it's pretty spongy this floor just wanted to get you guys a view of up top here can see why people have weddings and these things and clean them all out. Be a lot of uh, work. I actually watched a video a while ago on uh, YouTube. I believe the channel name was uh, Wabi Sabi. They uh, did one and they cleaned out their family barn for a wedding in their family. And wow, a lot of work cleaning out all the dust on everything and Theirs was chocked full of hay, so they had to get rid of that all. Missing a couple rings there. Anyways, let's get into the other part. You can see where people have walked through it because he has an ad out that he wants it tore down. And that's, again, how I reached out to him more than happy for me to come film it love the old red barn paint so i assume that these tracks are from people walking through it that are wanting to take this barn down and like the owner said these uh pieces uh, people can use them you can see the old pegs there and just look at how they notch these beams to go in the edge but uh what lies hidden look at that that whole beam is gone probably from the roof leaking there water coming in the eaves and that whole thing's hollow so otherwise though like these make great mantelpieces for people's uh houses and must have been a ladder there at one time in that be or in that post there but we'll walk through here once more on the way out and uh, we'll get a video of the other side of the barn too but let's go into the addition here and see what it looks like i forgot there's a basement to this place let's we'll check that out yeah you can see she's pretty tough i'm not gonna walk over there there's a beautiful chunk of wood right there. Beautiful. I might have to take that home for it with me. I'm gonna have to ask him if 
I can buy that off of them. Let's check. Yeah. Fairly solid. Beautiful beam there again. Old ladder. Oh, old Coke bottle in there. Yeah, we'll get us down into there. Yeah, we won't go into there. This uh, ends pretty bad. You can see all that old milled lumber there. For how light they built these barns, I'd say that those are two foot center. <laughs> they get a bit bigger in some spots, maybe three there. They're fairly, like that's probably a four, well, three and a half by five inches, like a true three and a half by five, I would say. Obviously that's been painted. You can see the red paint on there, it's been sprayed. Let's see if we can get us down into the basement. We can go down in here or not. Try to get my camera through here. Oh yeah. That must have been the old workshop or something in there. There's old shelves. I can't even get in here, so I'm just gonna put my camera around the corner. Oh, maybe a chicken coop. That's probably what it was. Those are old chicken coops, nest boxes. It looks like we'll be able to go down into here, so I'm gonna try and skip down into here somehow. takes this down deserves to get that 10 ounce that's why I didn't go into that room she's pretty pretty well toast cool old windows though somebody might repurpose them they're pretty rotten but who knows what anybody will do I know I have good days and bad days we can step out here. That's looking ahead towards the old farmhouse there. It's getting pretty tough on this section, which would make you think that it's older. It's hard to say. With this concrete foundation, though, it makes me think. But again, that could have been done years later. We'll go back in here and go through the basement on the way out or the bottom here I got this in wide angle guys so it shows these uh, rooms a lot better because when I have it in the regular mode it uh, it really doesn't do justice on these rooms and this makes it a lot more realistic makes the photos not a, or the video not as clear but at least you get to see what it looks like old hinges on the door or the door slide there I make those at Home Depot now and charge you an arm and a leg for them it's really a simple simple design we'll head through here that cedar shakes on the ceiling never seen that before you said it'd work Keep stuff from falling from up above. Another piece of that beam. You know what? He might be taking them and using them in his house. When he's restoring them, I wouldn't blame him. There's a piece of the old grounding system. The lightning rods. Old power wire coming in, the old switch. Assume that's not live. Beautiful. Still works. Wow. Very nice foundation work that somebody did in here. 
really laid some nice, nice lines in there. Some old skulls, bones. Wow, very nice. Not much left of the foundation there. Not concerned in here though at all because, I mean, man, some big walls. And those beams, they're massive. I mean, that's gotta be, it's gotta be 16 inches wide. And it's gotta be pretty well square. I mean, they get bigger in the middle there. Same with these beams, like look at the size of that thing. Actually, there might be a piece stacked on top of there. Anyways. Very nice. I don't know what this is. Some of these old barns had a cistern system in them. Some of them had a well. I know my grandpa's home farm had a well right in it and a spring spring fed well that ran through love seeing this old propane tanks or uh wherever they were old pressure tanks torched in half by the looks of it and they'd use them for feed and water troughs that'd be a feed trough there the old half door very nice Old ladder there. Or, uh, you know what? That was probably just a fence. I looked like a ladder laying there. Water was piped in. Foundation's getting pretty bad, so it's definitely why this barn has to come down. But if it's gone and dispersed into people's places, that's fine. However, my goal with this channel is just to preserve history in whatever way and whatever form it can be done interviewing people that have knowledge on historical events, anything. So this is just one video on uh, what it all looks like in this barn. And that's just one video the way we can go with this channel. We can do interviews. I really want to do interviews with some old people because when they pass away, oftentimes a lot of that's gone their information and uh, you never get that back but once it's on video unless something happens to all the electronics in the world it's stuck around forever so let's uh, finish going for a walk through here and we'll be done look at that old beam it's pretty tough I'm uh, five foot eight, just a wee little short guy. But this is, uh, I'm standing up in here, in there. So that's probably five, eight in there. It's a lot lower in there. So it's a good good height, this barn, but she's pretty, pretty warped. I'd be torn if I had this property on how much money I'd dump into this place to keep it or not, because it's beautiful. Must have been in use not too long ago though because this hay, it's all not that old. I mean, it's not rotting. It's still got some good color to it. Or this straw, I should say. Yeah, let's head back over to the outside and finish up this video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. 
appreciate if you guys leave comments and tell me what you like about the video and what you don't like what you'd like to see more of really appreciate that and i can do it better in the next videos but this is uh this is kind of a learning curve for me i've never done this type of thing before i've done videos but never uh these type of videos so maybe i should uh talk about some different stuff while i'm filming maybe not if you uh comment i can better serve you guys really hope you're enjoying it though I actually got into this because I'm a boat mechanic and I live away from farm country, but I grew up around farm country and now I miss it, not having barns around. So I got to drive quite a ways to get into farm country again because I'm in lake country where I'm located and there's not very many barns. There's some around, which I hope to get into. And uh, I realized that I missed stuff like this and... Now I can get out on the weekends and show the world this, hopefully. And like I said before, hope you guys really enjoy it. So that's one end to the other. I think we've covered everything in here. Just a beautiful spot. And over here really isn't that bad, guys. Uh, but once you get underneath and start looking at the floor, this hay, I'm sure, has leveled it out, this straw in here. But I think if you start shoveling that away, she'd be diving pretty good as you can see on the foundation underneath but let's get up there and see what kind of hay trolley this is and fork up there so close to getting it should have to put a word in for him that I buy that thing there's the old fork let me flip over here there's old fork and trolley. Would have went across the barn. Should have an opening over there where they could bring the wagon up outside, but I don't see one. Maybe, actually, you never, you know what? On this type of barn, if you, uh, you'd back the wagon in here, pick the load up and you bring them over into here usually this would be stacked up here have a floor in here which you can see might have been in here at one time and might be gone now then they would stack it all up in the hay mow well i think that's about everything i'm just gonna walk to the other side once more quick and we'll take a video on the way out of here and I think I'll walk around the house a little bit to show you guys the character of it, and we'll be done. looked up top here in the old part show you that get everything i'm gonna climb into our stairwell and get out of here coming out the door here old trees i don't know when when this barn would have last been used probably gonna talk to the owner after i finish up this video and We'll, uh, we'll let you guys know in the description, so check it out. Walk up and walk around the house here and check it out. Oh, don't fall. And we'll get out of here. Very nice.
Just walking around the house once more here. I'm just trying to look for an old uh, plaque on it that might have a date on it. Some of these old houses, they'd take a stone or some uh, cement and put it on the outside and they'd write a number in it and oftentimes on the old school houses. But I don't see anything on this one. Yeah, nothing. But uh, that's it. Well, uh, that's our first uh, video for previous century preservation. Uh, like I said, guys, the channel's not all about barn and farm tours, although I would uh, look into doing a lot if you guys enjoy it. But uh, I want to focus on going around to, old, to guys that have big collections, say, of uh, John Deere tractors or uh, any collector out there that wants to be interviewed and share their knowledge on their items and just beautiful old historic buildings, just really anything from the previous century and beyond. If, uh, again, if you guys liked it, please, uh, you can give this video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and help us grow. I'm going to, I'm going to shoot for getting a thousand subscribers this year and get us up and running. It's, uh, the beginning of January and 20, uh, 22 time flies. So we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get up there and get some views on these. And if you share these videos and, and, uh, mention it to people, it'll help the channel grow and we can, uh, better serve you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching.